You have reached the wonderful place where things wanted but not yet achieved in terms of manifestation. You're still thrilled with them. You're not as convincing as we had hoped. <laughs> it is our desire that you come to that place, though, because that's where you were when you came into this body. You knew then, and you know from that standpoint now, that you are source energy in a physical body on the leading edge of thought. And you knew that you were coming into the most fantastic environment of variety and contrast. And you liked that because you knew that you are a focusing creator. You know that you create by focusing. You know that by giving your attention to something, you activate a vibration that law of attraction responds to. So you understood very clearly that the variety was very advantageous to you because you knew that the variety that you were being born into would cause you to focus and that the focusing would be the summoning of that which would be your life experience. And you weren't worried about the variety because you knew that you were being born with a guidance system that would call you toward the best vantage point. You knew that your emotional guidance system would inspire you because you want to feel good, everyone does, and at that point you really remembered it, that you would be inspired to those things to talk about, those things to ponder, those things to remember, those things to focus upon, you knew that you would feel their content in your emotional center. And so you said, what a wonderful idea this is. There's enormous variety that I get to choose from. And from my exposure to this contrast, I will come to my own personal preferences, which then source energy will help me to create. So we've been giving you this story in a variety of different ways because most of you have forgotten it by the time we meet you. And we want you to come back into memory of this, that when you ask, it is given every single time, no exceptions. We began by telling you that you are the creator of your own experience and that when you desire something and believe it, then it is. And while no truer words have ever been spoken, many of you had a hard time wrapping your thoughts around that. We think because you weren't really sure what beliefs are or what you really believe. We would like you to understand that what a belief is is a pattern or a habit of vibrational offering. It's just a thought that you keep thinking. But you offer many vibrational patterns without really consciously turning your undivided attention to them. You don't rethink every belief every time you think it. Law of attraction helps you in that. In other words, it is common for you to offer similar thoughts over a lifetime. You might have been taught them by those who surrounded you, and you may not have ever questioned them. So you just began to, or continued to, think those thoughts. So you continued to develop a stronger and stronger vibrational pattern about different subjects. And that vibrational pattern is what we are calling your belief, but we are also calling it your point of attraction. Because what you're offering vibrationally is what law of attraction is responding to. So we said, when you want something and you believe it, now it is. And the reason for that is the vibration of your desire and the vibration of your belief are in one place. So you're offering one singular signal, which makes you very powerful in the achievement of that. Then we got a little more detailed with you as we began to explain to you that you are the creator of your own experience and that it is a three-step process of creation. Step one is you must ask. Well, that happens easily. Your contrast causes preferences to be born constantly. Preferences or full-blown desires. It does not matter what you call them. When you have life experience, preferences are born. Step one. Step two is source. You are an extension of source, you know. When you give birth to a desire, source immediately becomes vibrationally compliant and compatible with the desire that you have given birth to. Now, we want to stop there for a moment and talk about that because we don't think that most of you understand the full implication of that. Who better, Source knows, than you on the leading edge of your life experience to decide what you prefer? 
Even if you are the one-celled amoeba in the ocean, you're having exposure to contrasting experience, which is causing a preference to be born. And source knows that you, source itself, in this physical body, is having this leading-edge experience, and you are the best one. You're on the front line. You are living the nitty-gritty. You should know what you prefer. And so when preference is born within you, source comes into full and accurate and complete compliance with it. That's why when you ask, it is given every single time. Step one, step two. You ask, source says, yes, you should know. Step three is, you must be a vibrational match to what you're asking for. If your environment causes you to want more wellness because you're sick, source says, we agree, and it's on the way, but you cannot continue to beat the drum of illness and be a vibrational match to wellness. You've got to close that vibrational gap. And when you close that vibrational gap, now you are offering a singular vibration, and when you are offering a singular signal that law of attraction is responding to, now you get swift results. Now, most of you, this makes sense to you as you hear it, and you might be wondering, why haven't I thought about this sooner, or why haven't I been utilizing my guidance system more effectively? And we want to say to you that the reason that most of you are not already understanding this fully is because 99 and then some percent of every creation is complete in the vibrational ethers before you begin to see any physical evidence of it. So very often your desire is born, step one, and source says, yes, we agree, step two. And you work your way toward being in vibrational alignment with it. You're hopeful, you're optimistic, you really want it. And you're well along the way, but then you take score of the physical manifestation and you notice that it hasn't manifested yet. And then you sort of freak out and go in the opposite direction. We see you sick, getting better, sick, getting better, sick, getting better, sick, getting better. And then you announce, the doctor says, I have something incurable. And we say, no, you don't. You're just not headed consistently enough in the direction toward wellness. You're getting all caught up in x-rays and tests and all of that stuff that's causing you to freak out and turn around and go back to sickness. And you say, well, how would I get sick to begin with? I didn't mean to get sick. And we say, you were offering vibrations that you weren't aware of. You were not quantifying your vibrational offering. And the reason that you were not aware of the vibrations that you were offering is because you lost sight, most of you long ago, of the guidance that is within you that is always calling you toward who you are and what you are wanting. Now, we're going to give you something here that you may not have heard from us or anywhere before. And we really want you to get this because it's a very important underpinning to understanding this basis of creation that you are upon. When you ask, it is given every single time. We are not kidding you even a little bit about that. And we want you to understand that the reason that that is so true is because you are extensions of source energy. You are that which man calls God here in these physical bodies having this physical experience. So out here on the leading edge, you know, God is not finished. Source energy is not finished, all perfect, waiting for you to catch up. You are the reason for the expansion of the universe. You said, I will explore contrast, and yet a new idea will be born out of my particular experience. And Source says, yes, you are the part of us that is having that leading edge experience. And when it squirts out of you... We are thrilled that you have had the experience that has caused the birthing of that new desire and we go immediately into vibrational compliance with that new desire. When a desire is born within you, you must find vibrational alignment with it because you can't hold back. The most significant part of you has gone to a new place which you must join if you are ever to be fulfilled and joyful, you see. You cannot hold yourself back from the desires that your own life has caused you to give birth to. And when you try, you get all out of vibrational whack. We're going to show you how to close this vibrational gap. We're going to show you how to quantify your journey. We want you to know that it's an easy journey from sickness, we don't care what the sickness is, to wellness. From not enough money, we don't care how down and out you are, to more money than anyone that you know. In other words, there is a vibrational escrow of 
billions of dollars that is potentially there for you to play with you've just got to get in sync with it you just have to become a vibrational match to what you want instead of being a vibrational match to what you don't want or in most cases to what you've got most people offer most of their vibration in response to what they're observing so if they're observing things that they like they offer a vibration and get more if they're observing things they don't like they offer a vibration and get more so we would say, logically, you've got to deactivate those vibrations about what you don't want. But we would be leading you on a little bit of a wild goose chase because you can't deactivate a thought. Because when you look at the thought that you're trying to deactivate, you activate it. So the way that you stop activating a thought that you don't want is by activating a thought that you do want. But we think what's been going wrong with many of you is that you've been trying to make too big of a jump. When your vibration is over here and not feeling very good and you reach for one that feels a whole lot better, law of attraction is not helping you out because you can't reach that far. You can't set your radio dial on 6.30 a.m. and hear what's being broadcast on 98.7 FM. You've got to be somewhere in the vibrational vicinity. So as you make an effort to just fork a little more in the direction of what you're wanting, what you're going to begin to notice is you're going to every day close the gap between where you are and where you want to be on subject after subject. And since 99.9999% of every creation is complete vibrationally before you see the evidence, you're well along the way before you get the evidence, but there will be an improvement in your feeling of optimism and enthusiasm and passion. In other words, you're going to get so that you can feel that things are about to pop that's what that feeling of anticipation is that's what that feeling of positive expectation is you can literally feel your proximity to the manifestation of things that you want and we want you to have manifestation of all of these things that you want you live in a world where things manifest it is the leading edge place where things that you want do come into physical fruition but even more than that we want you to start enjoying the journey as you are closing this gap and further, we want you to understand that you will always be closing the gap because you will always be reaching to a new place and then you will be closing the gap. In other words, you have the exposure to experience. You give birth to a new desire. Source says yes. You close the gap. You have contrasting experience. You give birth to a new desire. Source says yes. You close the gap. You have contrasting experience. You give birth to a new desire. Source says yes. You close the gap. So what we're saying to you, friends, lovingly, but with so much sincerity, we so much want you to hear it. You and we will eternally live our lives forevermore in the crack. <laughs> That's where life is lived. In other words, you've got to stop reaching for perfection. You've got to understand that it's always a journey. You're never, ever going to get it done. You don't go on vacation. You don't say, I'm going to go here and here and here and here and here and here. And then I'm going to come back home and then look at it objectively. Wait a minute. My final destination is home. I'm already there. Why go? <laughs> because you don't go on a vacation to get it done. You go on a vacation for the thrill of going, for the fun along the way, for the new interest, for the new stimulation of thought, for the expansion of who you are. And so you're not trying to get anything done. We are eternal beings. So you said, I'll go into college. Contrast. I'll go into this leading edge contrast and I'll have my personal perspective and the variety will cause me to want things beyond what I have and source will agree with it and then all I've got to do is follow the summoning of source which always feels good and we say how simple is that how simple is that you see and sometimes you say, well, Abraham, I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go. And we say, well, go the way that feels the best. And you say, I can't tell which way feels best because it all feels awful. We say, then don't take any action right now, but try to find thoughts that feel better. Because there is not one of you who cannot feel the difference between fear and anger. And there's not one of you who has made that jump that doesn't know that anger is an improved feeling. And there's not one of you who would rather be happy than sad. In other words, you have a handle on your emotions. We've been feeling you out. We've been sniffing you out. We know that your guidance system is alive and well. So never again say, I can't tell. Instead say, I can tell by the way I feel whether I'm moving in the direction of what I'm wanting or whether I'm moving in opposition. And it is our promise to you that you can quantify every journey that is important to you and that there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have. We'll be talking with you about anything that is important to you, the things that you've been wondering about, the things that you want to know. 
in terms of implementing your teaching skills, in terms of improving the conditions of your experience, and in terms mostly, this is what we come for, to help you return to the joyful beings that you are so that you can live happily ever after as you've intended when you came forth into this physical experience. We want you to get happy, and we want you to get happy as quickly as you can, but we don't want you to be mad at yourself if you're not happy. We want you to be reaching for the best feeling thought you can find, but make peace with where you are.